that's the scary part. They're rewriting history. They want to teach younger children things that just didn't happen in the name of social justice. At this very moment, while you're watching me, you are probably using what this Ohio senator is calling one of the most dangerous companies in the world. Yeah, yeah. You and me right now, we're probably being ultra dangerous together because this Ohio senator demands Google break up amid the Gemini debacle. One of the most dangerous companies in the world. Google is reportedly fixing its AI tool accused of racial biases and historical inaccuracies. Did you guys read 1984, right? Or I don't know about you. Maybe maybe you're an audiobook reader, right? I, I listened to 1984 on audiobook last year, and it's kind of scary, right? They want to rewrite future. So it it's very much the gaslighting that we get these days where it's like, you know, this this politician says this one thing or another. Uh, oh, OK, OK. Here's here's a great example of, of gaslighting. Joe Biden's policies have let basically everybody in through uh, the southern border of Texas as possible. Now, of course, that's hyperbole, but they're just letting everybody in down there. Right. And then Joe Biden comes on and he says, it's because of Trump that all of these people are coming in through the border. And it's like, hold on a second, dude. Don't you remember on day one when you made such a big deal about how you're um, undoing all of Trump's uh uh, immigration policies, like you literally made announcements, you literally made press conferences, you literally signed those documents. And yet you want to say when it's all going to shit that, oh, it's all Trump's fault. That's the kind of gaslighting and history rewriting that we're seeing here these days. And it's, it's really disturbing. It's, um, what did they call it in 1984? Right. It was, it was big brother, of course. Um, but uh, wrong think right when when you um, when you like, for example, my 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 wrong think about Joe Biden there would have got me in trouble. But they I forget they had a name for it when they would go back and edit the past. They would go back and edit the history to um, make it fit today's narrative. And a lot of people are trying to do that today. Right. A lot of people are trying to put, you know, today's social box or very left-wing social box on something somebody did 20 years ago, which was not in the 80s. 20 years ago was in the early 2000s. <laughs> I had that conversation with my kids the other day. Uh, I was saying something was popular in the 80s, 20 years ago in the 80s. And they looked at me like, and they're like, 20 years ago is not the 80s, dad. And I'm like, oh shit, you're right. That was a longer time ago. <laughs> S-type, good morning. Elon isn't Hessis. He has DOD contracts. He's controlled opposition. Hmm. Interesting. Controlled opposition. So this Ohio senator is saying that Google needs to break up. And it's one of the most dangerous companies in the world because they're rewriting history. That's the scary part. They're rewriting history. They want to teach younger children things that just didn't happen in the name of social justice. Let's let's take a look at some of these um, these things here. So I just went on the Twitter. By the way, if you go to Google and type this, you get pretty crap results. So I went on Twitter and typed this and I was like, okay, I can actually use this. So Google is actively making sure that when you Google something like this, you're not getting the results you want to see. Um, Gemini AI doesn't just have a woke problem. It's also engaged in making harmful, libelous, or defamatory statements about people like this person. I don't even know who that is. Who challenge the status quo na narrative. Shouldn't this be a concern? So I'm not going to read all that, but uh this it now equates uh elon and um the bad guy from world war ii don't blame gemini blame gemini's programmers yeah absolutely um let's go on down here i want to show you some of the images here we go google to relaunch uh not working the way we intended so this was pictures of founding fathers right like this dude looks cool he looks badass right but this this is not historical right that's not george washington Right. I, and I'm, I'm not trying to put any kind of race card here, but we're not seeing that. Right. That's not historical accuracy. Right. That's rewriting history. Now, granted, we need to remember history in the way that it was so that we can learn from it. But rewriting it to fit this narrative is not doing so. Um, let's see. Here's a couple. Right. 
Here are four representative images featuring popes from different ethnicities and genders. Well, if you're looking for the picture of a pope, you're looking for a picture of a pope. In fact, let's just do a picture of a pope. Right? This is what the pope looks like. Okay? <laughs> right? There's Pope Francis right there. That's a picture of a pope. Mm, this is not pictures of a pope, right? This is a Native American. This is, um, I don't know. I don't know who that is, but it's not a picture of a pope. Uh, let's look at this, right? Here, uh, give me an image of a medieval knight. Here is, it looks like an Asian lady. Um, this looks like maybe some sort of like African warrior. He looks like a badass, but not a medieval knight. Same here. I'm not really sure about here. This guy, he looks like um, like someone from Genghis Khan, which is cool in its own right. But why are you overwriting history, right? If there really were these badass looking um, African knights out there riding horses, dude, that's sick. But don't take it from them. Don't take away their history and overwrite a different history. And then same here. Like there is so much history around um Genghis Khan, Mongolians and all that stuff. Why take it from them? Let them have that pride and and um historical accuracy around their accomplishments. That's awesome. Don't overwrite their accomplishments on someone else's accomplishments. That's a real problem here, right? And here's a couple more pictures of popes, which they don't look anything like the real pope. So I just don't understand this. Hey, Bahar, good to see you. Watch channel. Good morning. So yeah. And that's where this Ohio senator is coming from. Is It's like, look, this is dangerous. It is very dangerous. It's so Orwellian, so 1984 to say, we're going to overwrite history. And we're going to change the skin color. We're going to change the race. We're going to change the NASA nationality of all these different things. Because, you know, we just need to make sure that we are accurately resent, re represented. Now, this is probably the worst example, right? You go back and look at um, World War II. These kind of people who are they're shown right here. Uh, this guy probably was part of the, the, uh, the Nazi soldiers, right? But the others, honestly, they were being targeted by the Nazi soldiers. More than likely. I don't know. But to overwrite history like that is dangerous. To overwrite history like this can absolutely have huge, rippling, awful effects if this is how we're teaching history. To change history in the name of progressive wokeism is a very, very dangerous thing. And I fully agree with this uh, Ohio senator. If this is how we're going to be teaching history, we got a major, major problem. So let's take a look at the AI trading data for Google right now. Google got a sell signal February 5th. Right before this big sell-off here, in fact, let's zoom in just a little bit. So these are using the Outlier 2.0 signals, which are coming out um, for everybody next week, and it is a little bit slow. I'm using the dev platform here, so it does take a second. I may even need to reload the page here. The dev platform is just a little bit slower than the uh, production platform, but this is going to be in the production platform next week, which I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, we got the sell signal on February 1st, and you can see it's really, really sold off hard since then. And then if we go to the performance summary, we can see the outlier signal returns have shown a 65.52% historical return there, right there. So pretty awesome results using outlier. So be sure to head over to outlierdeal.com. That's O-V-T-L-Y-R deal.com. When you head over to outlierdeal.com, you're going to have access to these AI trading signals like this. Lifetime access. And this is ending in the next couple of weeks. And we'll never ever be offered as a lifetime deal again. So be sure you grit, go grab that while you can. Now, let's see what people are saying about um, all of this, right? I, I'm sure I'm not the only person who says we can't be rewriting history to fit this narrative, right? It's kind of scary. There are undoubtedly risks to related to AI. And one of the biggest, a partisan group of crazy people using AI to infect every part of the information economy with left-wing bias. Jim and I can't produce accurate history. History. And chat GPT promotes other things. So let's see what it says here. We need a congressional investigation into those who infected AI and start pushing round earth <laughs> to start pushing the round earth theory. That's funny. I already pay for um, whatever the blue check is. Why do I have to pay for more? Just 
stupid. Uh, one way or another, we need a lot of restrictions and guidance for AI, and that's going to be tough. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Are we actually going to be able to do that? I've been a huge advocate for OS. Got yelled at and fired at over it. Over the tech side of OS companies. I'm not sure what he means by OS. But AI is bigger than OS. It teaches itself, and the programmers don't know how or why it makes decisions. Ooh, that's scary. Chat GPT is a problem. Once you flag it for certain things, it spits out puke. Bias search engines need to be open source as well. Bias search engines like Google from other Google are far more damaging than AI at this time. Let's just see. Is there any more? Our future depends on whether AI is controlled by the few or the many. And, you know, to that point, I think our future really depends on historical accuracy. If we're going to be using AI, by all means, I think we should. But we should program into it. Do not overwrite history. Do not change history. If I ask for a uh, picture of a pope, show me a picture of the pope. Show me a picture of every historical pope we've ever seen. But if I ask for a pope with dark skin tones, show me that. But don't overwrite the history and say, no, this is popes now. <laughs> Sorry, your popes are wrong. These popes are right. Um, that's a huge problem. But of course, we can't make that change on our own. That's up to the programmers. And once the programmers do so, then I think maybe, maybe, maybe we can um, get some changes to work in the right way. Please be sure to click one of these two videos to watch more. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Outlier Live. We'll see you on the next episode.